Hi, I'm Mikata, and these are the elites. These are Diablo to resurrected characters and builds who use only elite items. Let me show you where the inspiration for this theme came from. I was watching Foyter's video about the itemization in Diablo 4 compared to Diablo 2. And when Lord of Destruction came out, that added a whole new item quality and they were called elite items. And it was in this expansion that all the items that you know and love were introduced. This part about the items you know and love made me think of what if the Diablo 2 Resurrected builds used only elite items. Let me show you the first one, the elite scene. She uses Shadow Killer Battle Cestus, which is an elite weapon and it provides Frost Nova on striking, so I've put a cold facet. Nightwing's Veil for additional cold damage. Tyrion's Might, mainly for the cannot be frozen and the blue look on the armor, so it matches the helm and the theme. So this assassin is my Sub-Zero character. I have Phoenix Shield for the enhanced damage and I built it in a ward because nobody uses ward and because of the uh, high strength requirements and since I use steel rent which is another elite item that requires the exact same strength 185 I decided to put phoenix in the same base in, in the ward base that matches the strength requirement and a spoiler alert the only room word that qualifies as an elite is Phoenix. So you will see some of it during this series. Shadow Dancer, Verdungo, two rings which provide life leech, strength because I need a lot of additional strength and resist. The amulet is High Lords and in the inventory I have trap skillers with cold thunder and some additional small charms for resists. So my resists with burst of speed are fine. The build. This is classical trap scene with 20 points into claw mastery and the rest in burst of speed. After all, I'm using a claw. For stats, I put a lot of points into strength, as you can imagine. I have a little extra now with the steel rend, and even more points into dexterity, so I can bump my attack rating, and it also bumps my damage for the blades. And since I'm a ranged character, the rest of the points into vitality gives me good enough survivability, I can stay in the back and just not get killed too easy. And what is a better place to showcase the blade scene than the Akeng Sanctuary? I did something similar with my ethereal items only blade scene and you can check that over here. Let's move a bit further. So player's one with the Sunder Charm is just a breeze. The Spectres are a bit difficult because they are immune to physical and the majority of my damage is physical. But the cold damage does well against them, so they are killable. I can just Pass by the ghosts. That's how I. That's how a blade scene deals with arcane sanctuary. Just running by the ghosts and killing the the other mobs. Now that I'm done with the meme showcase, let's try player Z in an area without so many. Immune to physical mobs. Here we are at Lair Zate. 
the Sundar Charm makes sure that we have the crowd control from the Frost Nova casts. Also, Shadow Killer has Freeze's target. That additionally helps and uh, immune to cold ghouls. We can stun them, we can stun them, we can slow them with the cold damage. And then clear them with with the blades. And this was my Sub-Zero Blade Sin, who uses only Elite items. If you want to watch any other of the builds, I'll link the playlist with all of them over here, so you can choose the build that you like the most, you're most interested about, and check it. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now!